Salzburg's Baroque Historical Center is one of the best preserved in Europe, as well as one of its loveliest. It was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1997. Austria's fourth largest city owes its present-day beauty to the consistent government policies that have preserved the historic town center. The birthplace of Mozart and Haydn, Salzburg has retained its musical heritage to this day, offering a wealth of annual music festivals. Salzburg is a small, neatly laid out city whose charm derives in part from the farms and grazing cows that can be found inside the city limits. Its alpine setting is dominated by the Geisberg and Untersberg mountain peaks, which at nearly 2,000 meters rise only a few kilometers from the city center. To the north, the town is rimmed by fields and forests which offer countless possibilities for excursions in the vicinity. The Saldzak River, whose source is in the Alps to the south, winds through the city as its historic lifeline and separates it into two halves, the so-called left and right banks of the Salzach. The Salzburg area has been inhabited since the Neolithic period. Settled by the Romans, who gave it the name Uvavum, legend has it that the city was refounded in the year 700 by St. Rupert, who chose it as the site for his basilica and christened it Salzburg. The old city is picturesquely dominated by the Monchberg, a hilly neighborhood which offers a panoramic view of the town. The Monchberg's massive fortress, which played an instrumental role in Salzburg's history, is visible for miles. Long the seat of the Archbishopric of Salzburg, Salzburg was part of Bavaria until it achieved its independence in the late 14th century. After that, it was considered an independent prince-bishopric within the Holy Roman Empire. The Salzach River is 225 kilometers long, flowing through Salzburg before joining the Inn River in Germany. The river gets its name, which means salt, from the shipping of salt down the river, which was an important part of the local economy until the 19th century. Until 1791, the river was called Salza. The city's name, which literally means salt castle, comes from the river. The toll exacted on the huge salt barges which plied the river from the 8th century on was instrumental in creating the city's wealth. Salzburg's cathedral, dedicated to St. Rupert, is probably the city's most significant piece of church architecture, as well as its ecclesiastical heart. Its magnificent facade and massive dome date from the 17th century and together form the most impressive early Baroque edifice north of the Alps. The cathedral's main facade is divided into three horizontal units and covered in so-called Untersberg mountain marble, though it is not truly marble in the geological sense. Statues of the four evangelists line the central part of the facade. Statues of Moses holding the Ten Commandments and Elias flank Christ the Savior. These statues, which date from 1660, are the work of Tommaso di Gerona, the sculptor who also made the residence fountain. The cathedral's three bronze gates representing the three divine virtues date from the late 1950s. The central gate of love is the work of Giacomo Manzo. The Gate of Hope on the right-hand side was made by Ewald Matare. The Gate of Faith on the left-hand side was the work of Tony Schneider Manzel.
The front facade of the cathedral is adorned with four imposing statues. The two lateral figures date from 1660 and depict St. Rupert holding a salt barrel and St. Virgil with a church. The two central statues depict St. Peter with the keys to the church and St. Paul holding a sword. The church's elegant sepia and white interior dates from a later renovation. The ceiling over the main nave shows scenes from the life and passion of Christ. Near the entrance stands the 14th century baptismal font in which Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Salzburg's most famous son, was baptized. Four interconnected chapels line the main nave, each of which is adorned by a side altar and palatine frescoes. The highlight of the cathedral is without doubt its dome, which soars 71 meters above the church's floor. Two rows, each with eight frescoes depicting Old Testament scenes, grace the sides of the dome. They were painted by the same artists who decorated the main nave, Donato Mascagni and Ignazio Solari. The paintings relate to the life and passion scenes from the nave. Above the paintings are images of the four evangelists, and beyond that, the coats of arms of Prince Archbishop Paris Lodren and Archbishop Andreas Rohrocker. Here, a detail of the Holy Spirit portrayed as a dove in the central dome. The main altar, which dates from 1628, was the work of architect Santino Solari. This painting, the work of Donato Mascagni, depicts the resurrection of Christ. Above the painting stand statues of St. Rupert and St. Virgil, as well as allegories of religion and charity. Statues of angels holding golden crucifixes adorn the space above the altar. The cathedral's black and white stucco decoration was the work of Italian artist Giuseppe Passerino from around 1628. The Capitol Platz, or Chapter Square, lies to the north of the cathedral. The Chapter Fountain, with its horse motifs, bears witness to the past. A horse trough was situated in the center of the Chapter Square during the Middle Ages. The new fountain was built under Archbishop Leopold Fermian in 1732, based on a design modeled on Roman fountains by Franz Anton Danreiter. The ramp used by horses to access the water leads to a group of figures consisting of Neptune, god of the sea, holding a trident and crown. The Mozart Platz lies in the heart of the old town of Salzburg, near the new residence palace. The square is dominated by a statue of Mozart by Ludwig Schwanthaler, which was unveiled in 1842. Celebrated classical composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born in this house on January 27, 1756. 
Carefully renovated and enlarged to house the museum's collection, it draws thousands of visitors every year. Its collection includes precious relics, such as the violin that Mozart used to play when he was a child, his concert violin, clavichord, portraits, letters, and other memorabilia of the Mozart family. A stroll through the old city with its variety of architectural styles is a true delight, thanks to the city's strict preservation laws. Its countless narrow streets feature buildings from the Middle Ages, Romanesque, Baroque and Renaissance periods, as well as elegant classical burghers' houses dating from the rule of the Habsburg monarchy. The neighborhood around the Benedictine Abbey of St. Peter is Salzburg's oldest quarter. The main entrance to the abbey faces the southern side entrance to the St. Francis Church. St. Peter's Church and Abbey were founded in around the year 700 by Salzburg's patron, St. Rupert, and remains the oldest monastic community on German soil. Though it burned to the ground in the early 12th century, the abbey complex was rebuilt and substantially altered several times over the following centuries. The Church of St. Peter's Abbey is an example of the High Romanesque style, though it was decorated with Baroque elements in the early 17th century under the abbot Beta Seauer. The church was built as a Romanesque basilica with three aisles in the early 12th century under abbot Balderic. Its Romanesque architecture is evident in its interior though the decoration is in the characteristically ornate Rococo style of the 1770s. A 13-year-old Mozart, as well as Franz Joseph Haydn's younger brother Johann, composed works here in the 18th century. Small chapels in the side wings of the church contain smaller altars and tombstones of former abbesses. In the church's right nave is the tomb of St. Vitalis in the red marble of Adnet. The church contains various artistic treasures, including altar paintings by the renowned devotional artist Kremser Schmidt. The side aisles are decorated in the Rococo style.
The church's main altar with its so-called rock tomb was the original tomb of St. Rupert. Made of marble, it is decorated with a painting by Martin Johann Schmidt. Additional organ pipes are embedded in the walls down the length of the church. The ceiling above the organ is a rococo marvel, adorned with a fresco depicting flying angels and ornamentation in stucco. Enclosed by elegant wrought iron fences, the Abbey Cemetery contains innumerable Baroque porticos, housing chapels, where Salzburg's oldest and wealthiest families are entombed. St. Peter's Cemetery possesses a unique atmosphere that ranks it among the world's most beautiful cemeteries. Dating from the early 17th century, it is also among its oldest. It is the final resting place of many of Salzburg's luminaries, including artists, musicians, scholars, and businessmen. Residence Square is an especially magnificent forecourt between the archiepiscopal residences and the heart of Salzburg's old city. It is bordered by the new residence, the cathedral, and the old residence. Residence Square, with its richly decorated Baroque fountain at its center, is probably the largest and most beautiful square of the five built under Prince Archbishop Wolf Dietrich von Reitenau. Fifty-five medieval buildings were torn down to make room for the square, which was designed according to the Mannerist plan of the Italian architect Vincenzo Scamozzi. Its monumental size surpassed only by the cathedral, the university church, o Collegian Kirche, with its grandiose facade, is one of the most magnificent Baroque churches in Austria. The most prominent Baroque architect of the time, Johann Bernhard Fischer von Erlach, was chosen in 1694 to design the church, which would be considered his most significant accomplishment. The history of the Franciscan church can be traced back to Salzburg's early Christian period, though its definitive appearance is in the Gothic style. Its original construction attributed to St. Virgil, it was repeatedly rebuilt during the following centuries, for the last time in the early 15th century by the most famous architect in the Salzburg region, Hans von Burghausen. Unlike the cathedral, built for the city's most important ceremonies, the Franciscan church has remained a place of middle-class worship. The main gate facing Sigmund Hafner Street was decorated in the Baroque style around 1700. The main nave of the current church was built in the late Romanesque style in the early 13th century, placing it among Salzburg's oldest buildings. The church's interior has a main altar designed by Salzburg's most famous architect, J.B. Fischer von Erlach, along with four 17th century chapels. Its magnificent hall choir, designed by Burghausen, effectively reflects a fusion of light and darkness, a special feature of the church. The current appearance of the Franciscan church reflects the many centuries during which it was built and decorated, from the Gothic to the Romantic. Salzburg's archbishops and bourgeoisie rivaled each other in adorning the church, so that their memory would perpetuate within its walls. Salzburg's fortress, the Hohen Salzburg Fortress, is its most important landmark. Since 1872, it can be accessed by funicular, which lays claim to being the oldest operational railway in the world. 
16th century Archbishop Cardinal Matteo Slang drew up plans for the Reissug, an early and primitive railway to transport provisions up to the fortress. Originally dating from 1077, it was substantially enlarged under Conrad I in the 12th century, and later in 1495 and 1519, following the orders of Archbishop Leonard von Kutschach during the Peasants' or Hungarian Wars. It remains the largest fully preserved fortress in Central Europe. From its position upon the Festungsburg Hill, the Hohen Salzburg, literally High Salzburg Fortress, dominates this picturesque Austrian city. The Fortress Museum in the historic rooms of the Castle Keep bears witness to the history of the fortress and the organization of its everyday life. The fortification and sometime residence of the Archbishop Princes who ruled the city, it has never been conquered by enemy troops during its millennium-long history. The Hohen Salzburg Fortress is a vast medieval castle complex. Initially built as a simple bailey with a wooden wall, it was extended significantly over the following centuries. Today, the castle is 250 meters long and 150 meters wide covers a surface area of over 33,000 square meters and comprises over 50 buildings. During its long history, it also served as military barracks and prison. The fortress's origins date to the investiture controversy in the 11th century, a struggle in the church between the pope and emperor over who had the right to make ecclesiastical appointments, in which Salzburg's archbishop sided with the pope. Today it symbolizes the power of the archbishop princes who ruled Salzburg, transforming it into the magnificent Baroque city it remains to this day. The fortress's interior is richly decorated. Intricate Gothic wood carvings and ornamental paintings decorate the Golden Hall and the Golden Chamber. It also holds a major concert hall. In addition to the fortress's medieval halls, its romantic courtyard and its bastion, the last of which was the great Kronberg bastion, provide spectacular scenery for special events. Hohen Salzburg Castle had massive guns and cannons, each bearing names.
Herbert von Karajan Square is located in Salzburg's Old City, named in honor of the world-famous conductor and Salzburg native. The magnificent horse pond was designed and built in 1693 in the course of building the facade of the royal stables. The central group, the horse tamer, once stood in an oval basin directly in front of the door to the royal stables. With its postcard-perfect alpine setting, Salzburg is a picturesque Austrian city of unparalleled Baroque splendor. With its myriad churches, abbeys, squares, and palaces, set within a bucolic landscape, Salzburg has long charmed and delighted visitors. <laughs>